And we're back in the yard. We got a system making a squealing noise. That's a, definitely a squealing noise. So let's see what's going on with this thing. Condenser fan motor is not spinning. So here we go. Oh, that's interesting how the fan's running. Our fan just cut off so we need to see what's going on but the fan was running and then it, but I feel like it wasn't running full blast so I think it's it's pretty hot so I think what's happening is it's overheating and then shutting off causing the compressor to go into bypass which is that squealing sound and then it goes off on thermal resets this resets and then it happens all over again that's what I'm thinking so let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned out and then we'll uh, kind of check some things and then go from there. But it's looking like we're gonna need a new motor or it could even be a bad capacitor. We'll see. All right, so it's a 40 slash five. I'm checking the fan side. It's exactly at five. So I'm thinking the motor's dead. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get an amp draw on this thing. It should be cooled down enough where it'll turn back on. So let's do that. We got all the dirt and cobwebs out of here. So we'll go from there. I'm going to also check the other side of the capacitor just to make sure because we're already checking it. That's the purple wire here. All right, so the capacitor for the compressor side is 40, so it's okay. Um, we're probably going to have to change the run cap if we change this motor. So we're going to hook her all back up, cycle her on, see if she's pulling high amps. Contactor is closed, fire in the hole. Here we go. fan is on thermal still let's go ahead and ohm it out all right so brown is start black is common you can see we have an open line let's check the next one all right common to run which is black to red in this case open line so let's try uh start to run and if we do have continuity that means our windings are still closed this means that our thermal is uh tripped start to run 104.3 ohms uh so yeah so it looks like it's a thermal um, the question is, is why is it working so hard? But usually, and, and don't, don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure because every motor is different, but usually they're right around 50 to 60 ohms. So I think there's definitely something up with the motor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recommend changing it. I'm going to get the specs off of it and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, we got the motor out. Yeah, look at that. So the bearings probably have gone bad. Okay, so we got our motor in. She's all wired up, ready to roll. Plug her in. Fire in the hole. All right. Amp draw is 1.42. This thing is already sounding a lot better. It's putting out a lot of heat. Compressor sounds better. Let's see how the amp draw is on that. Compressor is not screaming anymore, so that's good. Pull about 17.5 amps. Nineteen, so it's under. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get that filter changed out and then uh, we'll call her good. Uh, we'll hook up some gauges, let her run for a bit, make sure she's getting cold and all that good stuff. Go ahead and clean up my mess. All right, so she's back up and running. So if you ever come across a squealing compressor or a squealing air conditioner, uh, it's because you have a um, probably a bad condenser fan motor or some kind of high pressure situation going on. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, and Facebook, and if you want to support the channel, get some of my work socks and get some tools. Thanks for watching.